There are literally dozens and dozens of brands that were once at the top of their game, only to fall from prominence. Some wash out, others bounce back. These are their stories. How did a 100-year-old sportswear brand evolve from an outfitter of college athletes and U.S. Army recruits to the uniform of choice for the Olympic Dream Team and the Wu-Tang Clan? And why did it fall off the radar, spending a few decades as a sleeping sweatshirt giant only to explosively reemerge as a streetwear staple revered by celebrities, Instagram influencers, and cool kids across the globe? Although Champion and its signature C logo has enjoyed a beloved celebrity status, the company had quite humble beginnings. Knickerbocker Knitting Mills, the original family business, was founded by Simon Feinblum and his sons in Rochester, New York in 1919. However, they soon realized that Champion is a much better name for a company than Knickerbocker. Known as a purveyor of quality athletic wear and pioneer of the reverse weave sweatshirt, Champion made its foray into the college scene, spending its proverbial freshman year as the outfitter of the University of Michigan Wolverines, before expanding into college locker rooms and bookstores across the country. And the brand wasn't just outfitting those on the field, but in the field as well, as Champion Sweats became the training and physical education uniform of choice for, yes, the U.S. Military Academy. As time went on and Champion continued to grow, the brand became a sportswear staple, outfitting all 27 NBA teams in the 90s and the U.S. Dream Team at the 1992 Olympics in Barcelona. But it wasn't just on the court where Champion was thriving. The brand was taking the streets by storm as well, embraced enthusiastically by East Coast rappers like the Wu-Tang Clan, who even name-dropped it in their song Seventh Chamber. Champion, gear that I rock, you get your boots knocked. I don't think the melody was like that, but you get what I'm saying. The brand was on top, and it was everywhere. Until, that is, it wasn't. The story here isn't about Champion's drama or demise. While its logo was no longer splashed across the cover of every magazine and the body of every athlete, the company didn't really go anywhere. Momentum slowed and dominance diminished, the playing field expanded, new athletic brands entered the market while others grew. But through it all, Champion continued to make and sell its signature sweats, as well as custom uniforms, team sportswear, and personalized apparel, all the while plotting a major comeback. Fast forward to 2019, and with some modern adaptations and collaborations, the brand is doing huge business and experiencing massive growth. Champion opened its first 24 US-based stores within the last 18 months. And while company sales were 1 billion in 2017, they're targeting a 70% growth rate in 2019, with sales projected to reach $1.7 billion. Here's how Champion rose like a phoenix from the ashes of the 90s to reclaim its title as style champion and world's primary purveyor of cool. Logo apparel, throwback style, streetwear. Today's fashion features the holy trinity of trends for Champion, and its products epitomize all three. Streetwear is now a more than $100 billion industry, and almost 71% of millennials and 74% of Gen Z consumers are sporting the style. Champion's goal is $2 billion in sales in 2022, and if styles stay on track, they'll likely do it, one set of sweats at a time. Champion further capitalized on the streetwear trend by teaming up with partners already successful in the space, reaching new audiences through collaborations with international cult brands such as Supreme, Undefeated, Vetements, and A Bathing Ape. These partnerships didn't just give Champion major street cred, but helped to transform their threads from commodity to couture. Attracting young customers means meeting them in their digital domain. A large part of Champion's renewed strategy has been a keen focus on marketing and social media, which has paid off in a huge way. The brand's Instagram audience has increased from around 200,000 followers in 2016 to a whopping 5.3 million today. Go Champion! Kendall and Kylie Jenner, Kanye West, Justin Bieber, and Rihanna are just a few of the stars who've been spotted wearing Champion. 
According to Adweek, on average, celebrity endorsements generate a 4% increase in sales for brands, and fans of a given celebrity are 50% more likely to buy the products that the celebrity does. Whether or not Grammy-winning artist Chance the Rapper was correct when he credited himself for Champions Comeback, the sway of celebrity is extremely powerful and has likely inspired thousands to cop a sweatshirt or shoe for themselves and will likely lead to the end of human civilization. These aren't your dad's old t-shirts. Champion isn't just selling the classics, they're updating them with new dyes, prints, and colors to appeal to a new generation that wants their throwback infused with modern flair. The brand is also harnessing the power of city pride through regional collections and partnerships with local artists for the opening of flagship stores in cities like New York, LA, and Chicago. Beyond that, Champion has installed in-store customization stations that actually allow shoppers to create one-of-a-kind looks, taking advantage of what today's generation knows to be true, that it's not the clothes, it's how you wear them. With 100 years under its elastic waistband, Champion shows no sign of going anywhere anytime soon. And while obsessions may evolve and trends may come and go, a hoodie is forever. Peace out, Wu-Tang Clan! <laughs>